How to create your own 3D animated sun in DaVinci Resolve 17.4. Inside your project edit window, go to effects, underneath toolbox, select effects, and go to add a fusion composition clip to your timeline. In this particular project, we will use a fusion composition which plays for a duration of 10 seconds. To change your clip's duration, select the relevant edit, Hold Ctrl and press D. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you are a Mac user. Type in the duration that you wish to apply to your clip before clicking on Change. Right click on your Fusion Composition clip and go to Open in Fusion page. Inside your Nodes panel, hold in Shift and press Space. To open up the Select Tool window, use the search box at the bottom to find the Fast Noise tool. Select this and go to click on Add. With the Fast Noise tool still selected, hold Shift and press Space, and go to add a Shape 3D tool. Having previously selected the Fast Noise tool, this should be automatically connected to the Shape 3D tool via the green material arrow. With Shape 3D still selected, hold in Shift and press Space again. To eventually process our 3D sun shape, insert a Renderer 3D tool. With Renderer 3D selected, hold in Shift and press Space again, and go to add a Glow tool, which is the option which contains GLO in the brackets next to this. Select the grey box to the side of Glow 1, and drag your mouse cursor to the yellow arrow beside Media Out 1 to make a connection. Select either the left or right view options underneath Media Out 1 to see a preview of your shape on the Fusion screen. Deselect Glow 1 by clicking anywhere in the empty nodes grid. Hold Shift and press Space. And go to add a second Fast Noise tool. Select the grey box next to this latest Fast Noise tool. And connect this to the blue Effect Mask arrow alongside Glow 1. The Fast Noise tools will help create distorted animated colour patterns on our eventual sphere. That will make up the flaming effect on our final sun. We will first create the red and yellow flame effects that appear within our sun circle. Select the first Fast Noise tool, go to Inspector, and underneath Noise, change Detail to 10 to create more and smaller cloud formation shapes on your sun, which will make up the eventual flames. To make the eventual red and yellow shade stand out more, increase Contrast to 5 and to reduce the colour intensity slightly, so that details of the darker shade stand out more, decrease brightness to minus 1. To reduce the size of the clouded flame effects, to emphasise the big size of the sun, increase scale to 100. And to generate an animated effect with these clouded flame shapes, but at a gentle pace, increase seeth rate to 0.05. To apply the yellow and red colour effects, select colour. We will be applying more than two colour shades to the flame effects and therefore we need to change type from two colour to gradient. With the first gradient node selected at point 0.0, .0 double click on the colour box underneath this. Type in the following hexadecimal code in the HTML box to add your red shade. Hashtag 770001. Click OK. Before modifying the colour of the final node of the gradient bar at point 1.0, drag your mouse cursor to the gradient bar itself until an addition symbol appears in the bottom right corner of your cursor. Select the gradient bar to add a third colour shade. Ensure that the coordination of this particular gradient node is 0.4 by modifying the box underneath the bar with the colours Double click on the colour box to add more variation to the flames before applying the yellow shade we will insert a darker red colour with the code hashtag 3E0001. Now select the final gradient node at position 1.0, double click on the colour box, add the following code hashtag FFE212 to apply your yellow shade. Go to select Shape 3D. Underneath Controls, change shape from Plane to Sphere. 
to modify the size of your sun, select transform and adjust scale. In this particular project I will reduce the size of my sun by decreasing this value to 0.65 so that we can see the whole shape on screen. To have the sun rotate at a gentle pace over the 10 second duration I will apply a modification to the rotation Y variable at both the first and final frame of my fusion composition clip. Use the keyframe pointer underneath your fusion timeline to ensure that you are at the very first frame of your animation clip. In this case here I am at frame 0. Go to select the keyframe diamond icon alongside rotation Y in the inspector window. Now go to the final frame number in your animation clip. In accordance to the second box from the left underneath the fusion timeline it is 239. Modify your keyframe pointer as necessary. Under inspector again, change rotation Y to 20 to have the sun rotate gently towards the right. In order to have your sun rotate in the opposite direction, change the value in rotation Y to a minus figure. Rotation X will enable you on the other hand to make the sun spin vertically. If you decide to expand your fusion composition clip further after you have applied these effects and wish for the sun to continue rotating after 10 seconds of screen time, you can go to spline at the top of your fusion window, select Y rotation in the spline window, drag the spline grid cursors on the top of this window to the left to view both keyframe points that you have applied to this animation. Highlight and select both of these, then go down to choose set loop so that your sun always rotates regardless of the duration of your fusion composition clip on your edit timeline. Click on spline again to close when you're finished. Select your glow node. To have the red shade of your sun stand out more, under inspector and controls, deselect the green and blue icons for the RGB filters towards the top of the properties displayed. Change glow size to 120. And to help the red glow around the outsides of your circle shape stand out slightly more, Select Color Scale and increase Red Scale to 1.2. Go to select your second Fast Noise tool. This particular tool will add wavy effects to the red glow around the edges of your sun in addition to darker flame effects that will appear across your sun's surface. Under Inspector, change Scale to 25. That will apply wave effects which are different in size to those already animating in yellow and red, which will add more variation to the overall appearance of your sun. For further variation, apply a faster seeth rate to this fast noise effect by increasing this value from 0.0, .0 to 0.1. The background music to this tutorial is provided by the proud channel sponsor Audio, a link to the company's website and another link which will provide a discounted purchase of a lifetime supply of music and sound effects can be found in this video's description box. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.